good. Okay, on uh, Friday, December 1st, 2011, at approximately 1.05 a.m., the victim, who was lying on the roadway, was struck by a northbound van on Jane Street, just south of Lawrence Avenue West. We are still in the preliminary stages of the investigation, but to date, we do know there was an altercation between the victim and one or more persons just prior to the victim being struck. It is still unknown what physical condition the victim was in prior to being struck by the van. So as a result, we are seeking witnesses to either the altercation or the actual accident. Uh, please call 12 Division at 416-808-1204 or Crime Stoppers at 222-TIPS. Deceased is 51-year-old Abdirashid Gouled of Toronto. Thank you. The first name is A-B-D-I-R-A-S-H-I-D and the surname is Gouled, G-U-L-E-D. We do have some witnesses, and we're still trying to track some witnesses down. Some utterances were made at the scene, and the witnesses left prior to the police being able to arrive. So we're still hunting down some witnesses and try to get some clarification right now. Did the fight come out of a bar, or do you still have a trail? We, we, we do not at this time. That's why, hence, we've actually requested you guys to come to, to assist in getting that message out for us. So was the shooting on Jane Street, or was it on the sidewalk? We still don't know. We were actually calling people from home because this happened such an early hour and we're trying to get to wake people up and get them in here and get clarification. There's, there's a video statement being taken right now uh, as we speak. So, in a nutshell, all you know right now is that he was beaten, he was run over, and it, the, what you're seeing is like right in the middle of James Street. Yes, all we know is that there, there was some sort of altercation mm -hmm. and I don't know if that was an altercation uh, of an assault of a robbery, we have no idea. And we know there was right either at where he was lying or very close to it. And then moments later, the radio call came over with regards to, uh, to the man being struck by the northbound van. He was uh, lying motionless on the ground when the van ran him over. Now, he was in the northbound lane? That's correct. In the one lane? I don't know. Did he live in the area? Um, that's, uh, we, we can't confirm that. He does have an address in 12 Division. We're not, not con we're not, uh, we can't verify whether or not that's his actual up-to-date address or not. Does he have family, children? Yes, he does have, uh, he does have children and a wife. Okay. And I, d I don't know right now. Uh, what was his condition when paramedics arrived? He was in, in, in grave danger of passing away at that point. Uh, but as, as you know, we can't pronounce death at the scene, so I'm not sure if he had already passed away on the roadway. But I know he didn't get presumed yeah. until uh, until he's at the hospital. What about his injuries? Can you discuss those at all? Uh, I can't right now, and it's uh, we don't even know the, the cause of death right now, and uh, there's a postmortem planned for tomorrow morning. Did the driver of the van see anybody else other than the victim? I don't know that that person's being interviewed uh, by uh, traffic services right now because there's two separate investigations. There's an accident investigation going on, and there's a criminal investigation going on by us. He's cooperating. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So he was an innocent victim in this as well? Yes, yes, there, there's no intent on him to run somebody over. The homicide is monitoring that? Homicide is monitoring, yeah. Pending the outcome of the autopsy? Uh, both the autopsy and, and our, our investigation at 12 Division. So Mr. Gulab was, was motionless before the, the van approached him? Well, he was collapsed on the roadway. I'm not sure if he was completely motionless, but according to, to our, uh, the victim driving the van, he, he didn't even see somebody lying on the road. Do you know what he did for a living? No, I don't. Do you know what he's still up here? I don't know. Anything else, guys? Uh, we heard the name Gouled. Can you confirm that at all? I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been in, in close enough contact right now with traffic services. The investigation is still going on, and a lot of the investigation, as Mr. Woolley knows, is very mathematical, and they're still coming up with numbers with regards to that. Considering the time that it was, do you believe there may have been a lot of witnesses? Were there usual in cars, people walking, homes? What are you, who are you looking for to, to well speak to? Well, we do know there were some witnesses. We do know that there was a fair amount of, of uh, uh, cabbies that were parked across the road during this period of time. And uh, we're still uh, viewing some video evidence to, to try to track down some of these cabbies. 
And uh, at the scene, that there were some people that, that were gathered, but they left as the police showed up. So we're just asking those people who did witness this event to please help us out and give us a call. Where's the video evidence from? It's at near, nearby storefronts. Can we be a little more specific in terms of the number of suspects we're dealing with? We don't know right now. Uh, are you 100% sure that the gentleman that hit by the car is the person who was involved in the altercation? It's not 100%. So this could be completely two separate incidents? Absolutely it could, which is hence why we need some help from, from the public to, to find out if that is the case. They're, they're very, very close in time. So you're just assuming that the two calls are one and the same, I guess? Yes. Uh, it's our investigative assumption right now that that is the case. So what did those witnesses that you have spoken to say? What did they say in terms of what they heard in terms of the fight? Did they hear yelling, screaming, punching? All we have right now is that there was a fight in that general vicinity and police were starting to respond to it. And moments later, there was a call for a, a pedestrian struck on the road. Is there, is there a chance that he could be one of the assailants? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. All good? Great. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Mm -hmm.